I had the best moment when I saw this weapon, the mask, the outfits, they were dope. So I was so very interested in joining it. Fencing, a sport that is still relatively unknown in Kenya. Here in Nairobi, it is only practiced by about 75 fencers. But coach Stephen Okalo is on a mission to ensure that this sport is recognized. Fencing is a new sport in Kenya, but now it's slowly becoming widespread, and this makes me happy. You can see from my trainees, it has helped them a lot and has changed their lives. When we started with them, they did not have shoes then, but today they do have shoes. And their behaviors have changed, and they've become responsible. In 2012, Stephen started offering his classes. Today, fencing has gained more ground, attracting people from all age groups who want to learn more about the sport. One of them is Ashley Wangari. She is one of 20 female fencers. A 21-year-old started fencing a year ago, but she's already making huge strides. Seven, eight. When I realized or when I heard about fencing, it somehow changed my life because when you step in that uh, place of fencing, it is like an altar. And in an altar, you need to give respect, you need to have discipline. It is for everyone. Anyone can do it. It doesn't matter whether you are a lady or a gentleman. You can do it, provided you trust yourself and you believe that you can do it. Ashley's family was skeptical at first. Her mother could not believe it, and because of the weapon, was afraid that her daughter would become a thief. But in the meantime, they have understood it and support Ashley in her sport. And you turn it. Ashley now trains five days a week and the hard work pays off. She recently won a scholarship to study in South Africa. Ah, stop. I want to become a coach, coach kids, most especially kids. Because where I come from, so many kids are getting lost. You find uh, during night times, kids are all over. Yeah, some of them are using drugs, and they're doing so many things that you feel like, if only I had the chance to change your lives, then I would, and I can. To promote fencing in Kenya, Stephen and upcoming coaches like Ashley are committed to establishing more clubs around the country and inspiring the next generation of Kenyan fencers.